Right, good morning everybody. Welcome back to the Northern Cat Freaks Fishing Channel. I'm out on the bank for 24 hours and I'm fishing a local pond, Swillington. Swillington Carp Fisheries. Um, I have been here before and done quite well. In fact, I think I've been here every time and never blanked. Some people say it's a hard water. I've always found it relatively easy. So I'm pretty confident about this session. Um, nice just to put a few carp on the bank. I've got the... Someone's flying a drone. I've got the GoPro on the chest, hoping to get some different angle shots throughout this session. But I get some carp. And um, before we start this video off, you know, a thousand subscribers, I'll say it again. Um, thank you very much to everybody that has subscribed. It's um, it's absolutely bull on my mind. Although a thousand subscribers don't seem like a lot to other people, it's it's, it's massive, massive to us. So from Craig and myself, uh, a massive thank you. That is much appreciated. Hopefully, we can keep growing and absolutely soar, and have a, and have a, a wonderful community along the way. I'm going to definitely start fishing on, on the surface um, due to seeing the fish and um, yeah I'm going to try and show you everything that I'm doing and uh, hopefully we can put some fish on the bank that'll be nice. So before I kick this off um, I say thank you again to everyone that subscribed. Um, if you haven't subscribed you know jump on board you know hit the subscribe button smash that like button if do please Look at drone, flying drones up there, right up to, should have brought mine really but didn't think you were allowed them. So yeah, let's kick this video off and uh, hopefully put some carp on the bank for you all. So, right, God bless, catch you soon. Alright guys, this is my swim, and as you can see, I can't get my um, my backrest into the ground, it's literally rock hard, so I currently stuck the front in, like so, give it a focus, there we go, and the back of the rods, I just laid on the deck, I've currently got the right hand one is out on floater, the middle one is tucked away just by this tree here and that is currently on the Nash Citrus pop up on the Ronnie and I've got the, whoa that was a big bosh, the left hand one just down tucked away in the margins where I've actually seen a few carp so I haven't been here long, just got sort of like set up I've literally had to set myself up in the bushes. See? Fully in the nettles, guys. Fully in the nettles. Tucked away in the bushes. So, yeah, this is my swim. I say I've got one down there, tucked away to the left. One to the right of the tree, and one out on a floater. I don't know if you can see my floater actually. It's actually there. Dig. 
Ja mä vielä sitä käs. In terms of weed, it's uh oh it's weedy. The weed's got a lot a lot bigger than last time I came. It's not something that I, I fish often, but when I do fish, you know I have a good laugh, I have a good crack here. So there we go. And now I am open to get back out on the bank with Craigie Boy and we're gonna start smashing some videos out. I'm back on the scene now. Had a bit of time off with the baby as you all know and helping the wife out but videos are gonna start coming regular now. Um I think I've got some like couple couple of videos to edit as we stand. So yeah, so hopefully guys you'll see a lot more of us now back at it and uh back on the scene. I'm back <laughs> so yeah right guys that'll do so I will get back to you all very soon. Right take care. Right we're back and they're eating all around my boilies. So I'm just gonna sit here and wait and hope that one of them has a little snatch at it. I've now because I've been tangled up, lost fish off the top, I've I'm literally down to no tiny hooks. So my hook's slightly bigger. So whether they steer away from that or go for it, I don't know. We'll have to see. So let's hang in there guys and try and um try and nab one. You know, the problem with these hookers, you get one cast, then you've actually got to leave it. Because if you do any more than three or four casts. The bloody thing just comes off. I've given them a spray with some sticky krill, high attractant. See if that does all. So I wish I had some bread at the minute. Yeah, I wish I had some bread. Give these bread bombs a shot. These Nash bread bombs that I've had. I've had them in my tackle for about seven months. Never never used them once. See, I know I should have some dog biscuits or some floaters to be scattering around but I'm just literally going out with uh, one single floater on the top see if I can nail them that way a little bit different the water's at the highest I've seen it as well so obviously we've had some downpour because the water's right up at the minute The guy that left to me, he's fishing on top. Yeah, all right. I mean, cancel that. Come on, let's have it. So yeah, I'm uh, like I say, I'm down at Swillington and 
just got a 24 hour, quick 24 hour, so do my best I will. I've got two rods on the bottom, one on a krill, one on an IB, pineapple, and just for solid bags, and then yeah, one on top like I say. It's so weedy here, there's weed absolutely everywhere, you've got to get it directly in the middle. I've done videos on this venue before, so if you want to check them out, I'll um, either drop a link in the description or a box at the top, or you can just jump over and check the channel out, have a look at Swillington if you find fancy fishing here. I've had some good fish out of here to be fair, no record breakers like, no massive fish, but some nice ones definitely. Come off again. See what I mean about one to cast. Gone. Disappeared, mate. Well, guys, there's a couple of fish just swimming round my uh, round my bait. So hopefully, one of them goes for it. It's just doing circles right round it. Right round my bait. It's round surface. No, no, I don't think it's big. Just a little beep on the middle rod. And I don't have to uh, no, not daft these. Right, it's going right for it now. Oh, straight past it. Didn't bat an eyelid at it. I just watched it swim right past it. Right, I might have to rethink that one then. Okay. And guys, this rod, middle rod could go any minute now. There's a bunch of them out in the middle. So I've just put a floater out in, single floater, straight out in the middle, right in the middle of them all. So I'm hoping they have a snatch at it. Have a snatch of it. Now I'll get back to you if they do. Right, I'll try some of this then. Some zig line. It's only eight pound this though.
straight in the net. I've just nabbed two fish, one off the bottom and um, one straight off the top, straight away, both in the net. This is the one that I caught off the bottom. There you go. Fully dark, that. Beautiful looking. Um, got this one on the. What was it on now? The Nash Citrus. Bottom bit on a Ronnie rig. So, yeah, happy with that. The next one that I've got, slightly bigger than this. So, um, let's get this one back and get that one on the mat so you can see. Right, guys. I'm on the next one. This one's a bit, a bit bigger, this one. bigger more aggressive that's lovely common this talk to me about like this there you go that's the one that I caught off top it's an angry fellow this one nevertheless beautiful real dark in here yeah, chuffed a bit for that. Two straight away. <laughs> Crackers. I'm gonna get this one back as well. Don't know what he weighs. Might actually just weigh him now, actually. Let's have a look. Only 17 pounds two. So yeah, good fish. Right, let me get him back. He's had enough. Get him back. Yeah, that's that one. <laughs> yeah, seventeen pound two. That's my biggest out of here. Yeah, chuffed. All right, guys, how are we all doing? So a quick update on what's happening. I've got two on the bottom and one on the top, and the one on the top is very active. However, the carp keep snatching it and it's like they're getting spooked on the snatch and they're spitting it out making like a, a load of splashing and, and gnashing on basically so I'm not quick enough to set the hook I don't think at the minute but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get another one on the top today before the night ends it's currently 4 o'clock this morning was mayhem I was at it non-stop I lost five or six one of the two I'll have a look back um, and yeah two on the bank you know a double take sort of thing one I got on film as soon as I got it in the net next one off of the top and uh, I wasn't fast enough to catch that on camera but yeah so I'm having a good time nevertheless I always do and uh, yeah, hopefully I can bag another one off of the top of his. And uh, hopefully it'll be a good session. Good watchable session. So, bang it kettle on now. Gonna watch the water for a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you hopefully with a fish on the bank. So, right. Take care. Adios, chaps. Alright guys, how you doing? This is just a quick update. The night, probably got 25 minutes left before it's totally pitch black. They're cracking on over there with a load of 1980s songs. So, yeah, I'm just gonna chill out now, put film on, and if I get a carp, I'll, uh, I'll be straight back and you can have a look at see 
see what, see what appertains through the night. Um, so yeah, that'll do it for now. And yeah, I'll uh, I'll get back to you all very soon. All right, stay tuned. See what happens towards the end. And uh, yeah, let's get it. All right, guys. All the best. Peace out for now. Take care. All right, guys. I was just sat there thinking how quiet it is. It's fully come off. You bastard. Fully, fully come off. So much weed. You see how much weed you're pulling in. Help me, you are. Tangled in fucking net and lot. Fuck's sake. Have a look at this side of you. Mm, yes, 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 yes. yes. I was literally just about to start the camera off and uh, explain that nothing's happened through the night and it's about 7 o'clock in the morning and as I got the camera in my hand the rod ripped off with this little with this little beauty here a couple of pound tops Big. Got a bit of fight in him, it's this lad. He's not happy. There you go. Couple of pounds off of the off of the bottom. Um yeah. Dark and gold this one. So Successful. This is on the IB, Central IB, pop up. Yeah, took some bits with that. There we go. <laughs> Good start to the morning. All right, in. let's get him back. There we go. Not a bad little start to the morning, that guys. So, 
and it's just jumped up. Um, front camera on chest, and then I thought it'd come off because I brought that much weight in. But uh, no, it was still on. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> it's seven o'clock, I've got to be out of here for ten, so what I'll do now is I'll start steadily packing down. Um, if I do get another fish, then you'll see me, probably most likely. But if I don't, I'm going to end the vlog here. So, thanks a lot for everyone who has um, watched the video right to the end. It's much appreciated. And yeah. Also, if you're watching the video, I'd like to say thank you to everyone that's come over to me. And uh, who's recognised me from the channel. And had a chat with me. Appreciate that. I always do. So, thanks a lot to everyone. Alright then, guys. If I get one, you'll see me. If I don't, all the best. Take care. Thanks for watching.